In the late 90s, they brought us the most advanced search engine on the web. In 2004, they changed email forever. A year later, they revolutionized the way we use maps. Google is making it its mission to simplify every aspect of our lives. And now they're setting their sights on another target, our cities. Google boss Larry Page has teamed up with Dan Doctoroff, the former deputy mayor of New York, to launch Sidewalk Labs. Posting on his Google Plus profile, Page said Sidewalk would develop urban technologies to address issues like the cost of living, efficient transportation and energy usage. Google has put an undisclosed amount of money into the startup, an amount Larry Page described as modest. What modest means for a company which turned over $66 billion last year is not clear. So what exactly might they do? Well, that's not entirely clear either. But Google does already have some urban projects in the pipeline. Google first started testing driverless cars over six years ago. This is what they look like now. And the company hopes its Google Glass product will change the way we work. It all sounds pretty great if you like simple, efficient products. But are there any downsides to living in a Google world? Well, some people certainly think so, and chief among their concerns is privacy. In Britain, Google is this month facing a lawsuit by more than 2,000 Apple customers who claim the company bypassed safeguards built into their phone's web browsers to track their internet usage and send them targeted advertising. The chief executive of Audi this week taking a swipe at the company, hinting that drivers could be bombarded by ads in Google's cars. Of course, the company still has some other issues to iron out before we end up being chauffeured around by a search engine. Newly released information shows that Google's test cars have been involved in 13 accidents since 2009. Perhaps something for Sidewalk Labs to work on.